Hi guys, so <clears throat> I've been sitting in my car for quite a while now waiting for someone actually uh, still on the premises of TV3 and I've been asking myself questions about how people can tell you that A is not good for you, they think B is good for you and finally they ended up doing A, the same thing they tell you is not good for you. Look, I've had people in my professional life uh, tell, come tell me that, oh gee, you're a married woman, you shouldn't have your hair cut this way, you shouldn't write in them. I've seen people even come to comment on my post on social media, tell me that, oh, you're not a marriage material. I don't know how many years it takes to make a marriage material. I don't know. But they come to tell me all sorts of things, including people who call themselves counselors. They tell me that, hey, and now you're bar warifu, and they can't think how you trot whatever, whatever. Well, for that particular counselor, I took it very serious. I was like, oh, this is an elderly woman. She's been married. She calls herself a reverend. She's a media personality as well. So let's believe her. And fast forward, I decided to stay wearing wigs uh, actually i'm not able to wear wigs because i can't stand heat basically that is it i can't stand heat i don't have money to buy a wig as well and so i just prefer to have a low cut i prefer you know to be able to wash you know pour water in my hair on a daily basis so i stayed with wigs i wore wigs for weeks because this so-called counselor I, I have so much doubts in that woman now. So-called counselor and media personality told me that because I was married, I should not, you know, scrape my hair and, you know, do all the things that I do in it. It's not, it doesn't speak well of me. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, my fellow Nigerians, ladies and gentlemen, my, my dear, it didn't take too long for the same counselor to go scrape her hair. She said she cut her hair actually now has low cuts in fact she has the same style you know where you scrape off the side and you have the thin thing you know sort of and i'm like okay <laughs> why can't you just compliment your sister and say you look good you look beautiful i want to have my hair also done this way what's wrong with you like how do you even expect me to come to you for counsel if you cannot just show a sister genuine love if you cannot just be real to your own self who comes who goes to that kind of person for counseling i don't know but it just taught me a lesson that sometimes people wish they could be like you and because they cannot be like you they want to tear your spirits apart or they want to pull you down or they want you to feel useless of yourself always remember that you've got it better than someone has and the somebody who really wants to have that thing that you look down on. It might be as simple as a haircut like this. And she says, a barrier for da 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 da. Anyway, I just was thinking about this because a lot of things have been happening and I thought to throw those in. So I'll be back again some other time. <laughs> Bye.